Hey guys, welcome to a FIFA 18 confirmed ratings video. Today we're going to be looking at the Derby County players because we are going to be doing the Derby County career mode in just under four days. I think it's about three by the time this video does go live. So looking at Darren Bent, kicking it off with a pretty boring one to be honest. Not much has happened to him. He was 72 rated, now he's a 71. He has had minus four pace, I think he's had plus one uh, dribbling but minus two shot. The card... It's one of those that I'm probably going to get rid of immediately when we do start the career mode. It's just it's just not looking too good. We've got so many strikers as well already. So, a bit of a shame for Darren Bent, but at 33 years old, it's it's actually a pretty decent card. On to the next player, we do have our um, one of our first signings we did make, and it is Tom Huddleston. 75 rated he was on FIFA 17. That 43 pace isn't amazing, but for what he is, I think he's a pretty good rounded card. And EA have literally done nothing. I don't think there's a single stat that has changed. I'm just trying to look. Um, he's had minus one, uh, one minus one physical and minus one shooting. That's literally all they've done. And that may not even be noticeable. There may literally be no difference at all with these two cards. Which I'm kind of happy with. Still to have a gold card is pretty darn good. On to the next one then. We do have another Hull City player. And it is Curtis Davis. As Hull were in the Premier League. Most of these players that have come down from the Premier League will be already on the database so Davis I actually like that card that is a really nice center back card but unfortunately he has had minus four pace which is a bit of a shame but still 64 pace isn't too bad uh, minus one defending and minus two in physical so not too much of a downgrade still same rating and um, he is getting on 31 years old so only going to be really using Curtis Davis for maybe one or two seasons in the career mode on to the next one then we do have a current Derby County well when I say current I mean they're in the squad week in week out and he is a first team player so Bradley Johnson on FIFA 17 had 68 pace 76 shooting 81 physical actually a really good card in my opinion like a really good rounded most of the stats around 70 obviously that defending a little bit lower um, but with that very good physical was actually quite usable unfortunately he has had a minus one um, downgrade and a minus 10 in pace he's gone from 68 to 58 in pace which is an absolute shame he has had plus two in defending and plus one in physical but apart from that, all around, it has been a bit of a downgrade. Still got pretty good shooting at 75. But that 58 pace is a bit of a shame. I'm at 29 years old, I'm only going to be using him again for another one or two seasons, if that. On to the next one. We unfortunately don't have any other current Derby County players. The rest of these are ex-Derby County players. But I thought I'd just have a look at them to give the video a bit of substance. And um, you would be interested to see, obviously, after a really good season with Derby, how these players have done. So first up, we got Thomas Ince. Going to Huddersfield, of course, he had 80 pace. That centre attacking midfielder card, four star skills, it actually was quite a decent card, to be fairly honest. And in the Premier League, again, he's got the four star skill moves. I'm quite happy with that. He has had minus one pace, which is quite interesting. Plus two shooting and plus five physical. That's quite interesting as well. But minus minus dribbling somehow. I don't know how they've managed to work that out. Um, but on the right hand side, again, I think he'll be a little bit more effective on the wings. Might be interested to see if I could do a silver BPL squad with him in. Of course. Um, yeah, pretty pretty decent card. If he does get like a January upgrade, it could be quite handy because with the four star skills, maybe goes up to like 83 pace and 80 dribbling and 72 shoot, and that'd be that'd be a pretty decent card. So going on to the final player, then we do have Will Hughes. Obviously, he did have that man of the match card last year. This is his regular card here, 74 rated, of course. 71 passing and 76 dribbling. The main stats to look for. But going on to FIFA 18, he has gone to a gold. Really glad that he has been upgraded to that because that's what he does deserve. Like you see, some of the goal players that there are, Will Hughes should be one of them. He is one of the best English talents, and I do hope Watford do give him a chance because it is a bit of a shame. Um, well, it's good. It's good that Watford are doing well, but I'd like to see Will Hughes involved a little bit more, especially when they're playing against like Manchester City. Like you're not going to win that game. You may as well chuck someone in like Will Hughes, give him a chance, and um, yeah, it, it wouldn't affect the result at all. So. A little bit of a shame that he has been, hasn't been involved as much as I would have liked to see him. But nevertheless, he has been upgraded plus three in both defending and physical. I think he definitely does deserve that. A lot more physical last year from Will. Six foot one as well. I would be quite tempted to pick up this card for the start of the game. And another player, the final one, we're going to be looking at a former Derby County player. Jeff Hendrick also going up to a 75 rate of gold. Definitely does deserve it as well. It's incredible how these players just go to the Premier League and they're good. Like... No shit, like they're, re they're really good for us and um, it's actually a really good card, this Jeff Hendrick card. I definitely would suggest it for the start of Ultimate Team. Basically plus 70 in every single stat and then 78 physical as FIFA 18 is quite a physical game. I could see Jeff Hendrick being a very good card at the start of the game, 6 foot one as well. So um, these two in the midfield, I think that would be a really nice combination. Will Hughes a little bit more. 
finesse and a little bit more flair and then Jeff Hendrick doing the defensive duty these two could do a very nice job indeed so hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick little video obviously there's not too many players at the moment if you have seen any other make sure you do tweet me them or just leave a comment down below and um, maybe I'll do another one of these videos but for the time being these are all the ratings that I have got until the web app does come out so make sure you do smash the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and see you soon bye